actually this is all about JavaScript you can see we have this uh, simple network tab and when I refresh let's just refresh and when I click on this plus you can see it is incremented to 4 but now we have a Ajax request we are giving an Ajax request and this Ajax request is to Laravel Livewire or simply Livewire message counter and to show you I will go to Laravel and I will say PHP Addison route list in this route list you can see at the last we have a Livewire message and the name and it is exactly the same Livewire message and then the counter and it is uh, having a curly braces this means this can this name can be a simple uh, dynamic thing that should go to Livewire connection HTTP connection handler so let's let's check this file so HTTP connection handle and that should go and let's go here we have an invoke method that means it is already going to trigger if we are not defining anything and now it's handling the request from the request it's getting everything like action queue the name children data ID checksum error everything okay so we have this uh, route and we are handling this route here so you can see from this route it is handling and it is sending the data and on the request request payload has an action queue which is required here you can see action queue then name children so we have name here then we have a children which is not available for now then we have the data and data is the previous data we have on our component so whenever I click once more you can see now it has become five and now we also have one more Ajax request in this Ajax request we have a previous data which is four and we have this checksum and checksum is super important why because it ensured that no one has tempered with your data you are sending from this Ajax request of Laravel Livewire we also have some ID and everything is here and let's now see what happened from this handle so when you send an Ajax request this will give all these data to the Laravel and Laravel handles it here inside the HTTP connection handler which we got from this post request and this controller name and then we have an invoke method that automatically triggered which is handling from this request request is having all these things let's open this handle which is inside this extended class which is connection handler in this connection handler we have this handle method that accepting the payload payload is exactly all these things we are sending then the most important thing is for each action queue you can see we are sending action queue so we just have one here and we are looping through action queues so we have this action queues then we say process the message so what message we have given we need to process it how we can process we define the type so you can see on this action queue we have a first one and we are defining type which is call method so we are saying we are going to call some method and next you can see this a process message is a function inside the same class so here we have and here we have which is now having a switch case and it says whenever you say call a method whenever the type of action queue is call method it is going to call a method from that instance and where is the instance instance coming from this uh, uh, hydrate part and it is actually the real class you are having the component class you are having so in this class we are calling some method so it says call method which method whatever method we have defined from the data so we have a payload and method we are defining increment so it says call a method called increment with some parameter if we have the parameter so in our case we don't have that so we are calling the parameter with this uh, uh, class 
function name and that is increment and this is how we call increment let's now quickly see how we can call the decrement it's going to be easy now because now we are just going to hit this minus we have this counter it's giving all these details we have a previous data but the most important thing is action q it go to live wire message counter live wire message counter is a route which goes inside this controller or just php class this is a http connection handler which is handling this request this handle method is actually having a very important function which is called process message process message is calling this call method which is going to call the method which we have defined here which actually level live wire had defined which is decrement and that goes inside this and call it decrement cool but how it return the things so on the preview of this you can see we are having the checksum and this checksum and this checksum is different because this is just for request and this checksum is for response then we have a new data which is 4 you can see now we have 4 here and then the most important thing is we have a DOM and all the DOM is now replaced here you can see we have a button h4 h1 with with a 4 value and button and then div and that is coming here we can see we have this thing when we done this part we create a new DOM DOM is an instance output and then it finally return it um, with some responses and using some fluent things we don't have to go too deep in that so this is how Laravel live wire works on Laravel and this is how the magic happens and let's continue the journey of Laravel live wire